hi hi everyone welcome back to my channel and yes this is a weekly basket video i am gonna upload this lead but i thought that you know better late than never and this week's basket i'm gonna feature some of my high-end products because i realized i've been neglecting them and so i just pulled them out and yeah let's get started so we will pretty much start with um the face if you want to update it um, skincare routine leave a comment below and let me know because I have swapped up a couple things in my skincare routine that's different from the original one where I stuff some products half finished and um, I'm using new things so like I said this um, this week I actually incorporated a lot more high-end stuff um, I have quite a few stuff that was just there but I have been neglecting them and I just thought I'll pull them out because a friend of mine asked me about a particular palette and then we were talking about some lipsticks and went to blush and I was like you know what this week I will definitely pull out some of my high-end stuff and incorporate them into um, this week's basket and I think from now on I'll try to actually incorporate them a little more uh, my nails are all jacked up but I thought I will get this video out I plan on doing a manicure tonight so hopefully with the next videos this week you will not be seeing some jacked up nails but yes let's get on to feet all right so for foundation this week i actually have my mac pro Longwear foundation with spf 10 and i am an nc42 this one is an nc42 it looks horribly dirty Ugh, ridiculous i must hide this but um i'm looking to finish that i am somewhere about here with it so um finish it i have already have a backup of it uh i love the foundation if you want to see it get ready with me or review on it let me know and oh my moisturizer this week is this simple spotless skin anti-blemish moisturizer no i have a review to do on this you guys promised since last week but okay it got crazy so i am definitely going to try and get this out this week for you guys uh for primer i pulled out my l'oreal studio secrets professional i was asked to do a review on this if you're still interested in me doing a review let me know but i I have used more than half of the product and I think I'm coming very close to like hitting the bottom of it I think just because of how much I've used it so let me know because you know I don't want it to finish out to me and then I am now looking to do a review so you saw my foundation to set it I'm still going with the physicians formula I wanted to pull out another one for this week but I thought okay I'll just work on this and get this finished all right so bronzer as usual will be my Stila bronzer which um let me update you guys if you update, want an update on like where i'm at in my little project to finish let me know i'll do it so this is um where i'm at with the bronzer i need to finish this by the end of the year really really need it um so for blush i have a couple stuff here i have my inglot eyeshadow which is matte 392 which is a gorgeous purple color lilac color love it and um definitely recommend if you can get your hands on this color it's amazing as an eyeshadow and as a blush i also pulled out my mac modern mandarin i know this may be a spring color or a summer color but i absolutely love how this look on my skin tone so i just pulled it out and oh i have a base this beauty treats chic cheek and lip color this one is in zero one and it the price tag is in, but this is a gorgeous I actually have it under this blush and the blush I'm wearing is actually from Bare Minerals is in Glee and this is actually gorgeous color it's great and yes I am breaking out it's great for dark medium to dark skin tones I think this will look like on medium to dark or even tan olive skin tones the way um, Tarte exposed looks on lighter skin tones I think this will look on it is what I'm wearing but with a kind of heavy hand a bit so but I think this is such an amazing color let me swatch it for you guys I I absolutely love 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 this color so that's it there that's it there swatch it's a like a movie kind of color it's it's just gorgeous and these bare mineral blushes last you all day they stay on your face all day they are absolutely amazing and the last one that I'm going to be using as a highlighter sort of would be my Benefit Coralista. So this is what I'm actually wearing right now but I can actually pull that off also as a blush especially when I'm using such a bright base. 
and I've actually pulled out this elf mineral eyeshadow in pixie because I was using enchanted as a highlighter and one day I just decided to play with this and I realized it looks really nice so I'm going to try and use this also this week as a highlighter and lastly for face I will be I'm um, using out this elf mist and set I have already moved more than halfway through it so I thought I'll just try and work and finish it out and I now have a review on this so you should get this very soon so on to eyes. All right, so this week for eyes, not a lot of craziness going on. Pulled out my Ruby Kisses Eyelid Primer. And for base would be my Juju from Urban Decay, which I absolutely love. You know, you've seen that in a couple other baskets earlier in the year. Eyeshadow palette is just one. And this is the Urban Decay Deluxe Eyeshadow Palette. I have had this thing. It looks messy and everything because I've had this since Urban Decay brought out this palette I bought it it was my first high-end <coughs> sorry it was my first high-end palette and I used this thing almost for a whole year without using any others and excuse the mess right that's just to tell you how long I've had it yeah and um, yeah it is messy these three colors here at the bottom are my favorite colors <coughs> sorry along with fishnet and sometimes ransom because I used to be really a purple on a purple kick so all right so I just had a little coffee in the studio there um, just a quick swatches of these because they're like my favorite can you see a buttery and this is like I don't want to say five years old could be longer that I've had this palette look how pigmented this is I don't know if you guys can see it OMG this thing is like super pigmented and it's I'm wearing actually um, this color on my lid a little bit of this in a crease and I did use a black which is zero just very lightly like literally tap to fluffy brush in to blend it out because it's really amazing so um, <clears throat> a friend of mine asked me to do swatches of this video so I will do that for you guys soon and that's it oh eyeshadow I have this um, Palladio matte brown as a blending out color because you know that the whole palette has no matte colors but it's still an awesome palette so yeah this is where I'm at with this <clears throat> and if I need a little double up I have my elf which I'm using as highlight but I could also use it as eyeshadow so that's it for eyeshadow so pencils I have three I have um, my LA colors glide on gel pencil in royal blue I have been actually just over the weekend I used this as a pop of color on my lid and it looks amazing so I just thought I'll put it in this week then I also pulled out my MAC um, brown border and I actually really like this I use this to um, <clears throat> if I have like to under under waterline but it's not really that bold and it stands out it's just I find it just gives a really natural look and then I'll just maybe smudge it out a bit but it stays pretty much on for quite a bit of the day and I actually like that and I also have this Smashbox Limitless Eyeliner in Onyx it is what I'm wearing and um, I like this this is also lasts really long you know on your waterline for kind of like all day um, did not want to pull out a high-end um, liquid liner so I because this is almost finished I think maybe a week or two more with this if so much and this is going to retire um, mascaras I have my elf mascara primer it's not here but I use it for mascara I still have my Estee Lauder I was going to pull out another one so you may see another one or may see a review this week and another one if I do decide to pull out another one um, but I have this going strong I have these two from LA Girls which I really want to do a review on so I actually put them there and this one is finished the elf mineral uh, mascara it is finishing mineral infused I think yeah it is finishing so I pulled it out to just use it up this week um, concealer for under eye would be my undercover from Jordana and I have quite a few I have like the makeup forever I have the MAC Pro long wear and I have another one I think I have the cut and I have the Kat Von D <coughs> concealer because I was on a concealer kick the other day and I didn't pull it out because this is like this is where this one is at so I really want to finish this um, I like it it's pretty good and I started with my Ben Nye's banana powder that just seems to not ever finish 
eyebrows will be um, this makeup professional in taupe and then my cello to set it so that's it for eyes and now on to the lips so I'm actually gonna start with what I have on my lips and yeah I was just trying to be a little trendy because you know me I like these purple lips too and yeah I know it's in season now too so yeah season right it's the trend now <laughs> All right, so I have my Jordana Superstar, which I use as the base. Um, line my lips, fill it in with it, and the lipstick I'm using now is Max Mac, sorry, Pro Long Way, um, in seasoned plum. So this is what it looks like um, on its own. Let's get a swatch somewhere. Right on its own, that's what it looks like, and with the Jordana lip pencils. Uh, pencil why am I pluralizing everything this is how it looks and other stuff that I have would be other lip pencils my NYX in fuchsia gorgeous pink color there and I also pulled out my NYX in coffee which is another color that I really had like I've used natural in this I've like used three of these long pencils in natural already it was like my favorite and one and only lip pencils. Let's not go to how much I have now, right? Then this Milani one in Simply Natural. Because it's two different browns, brown tone you're dealing with. This one is much lighter and much natural. <clears throat> More natural, sorry. Then um, MAC Lipstick in Hug Me. This is a luster, really nice um, lip color. See, it, I plan to use this and the Milani lip liner together for work and I pulled out my Estee Lauder um, long lasting lipstick in Mystic Mauve which is a nice kind of mauve color there so and I pulled out my butter gloss again in Meringue because I actually really like that one and I pulled out my lip junkie in Cools and Clubs no this one is in Midnight Cowboy I don't know why I say that um, I wanted to finish this a long time back and um, didn't so I pulled it out it's just a smaller one <clears throat> I got in a sample kit but I really like it I don't know why I stopped using it again that's why these weekly baskets are a hit because you're able to you know go through your stuff and pull things that you don't usually use I know I kind of was like being consistent a little too consistent with some of the stuff that I was using um, but yeah I'm gonna try to mix it up as much as I can I know there are products that I'm really working on finishing so those will stay consistent until they're finished and even with that I may try to just add a little something in between um, I have a couple holes the I got the other high-end stuff that I ordered so you can look out for those videos uh, in the near future so thank you so so much for watching until next time bye